Hey little bee, uh, can you go over to my tomato plants and pollinate them when you're done here please? But um, you can wait for the bee or you can take matters into your own hands when it comes to your tomato uh, plants and when it comes to pollinating your tomatoes. Hi and welcome back. Um, I'm going to talk about my tomatoes. Uh, by now you, uh, you planted your tomatoes and it's growing and it's probably fruiting right now. Uh, but the primary pollinator for tomatoes is the, is the wind. Yeah, we all think it's the bee, but it's the wind. The way to improve your yield and get more fruits and increase your fruit, fruit set is to uh, help the tomato plant. You can do this in different ways. Uh, you can use, uh, if you watch other YouTube videos, they tell you you can use the electric toothbrush or you can use a regular toothbrush. You can use uh, a little brush like your little makeup brush. So what I'm going to show you is a different way to pollinate your your, your tomatoes. In this method, you can pollinate a lot of flowers at once. So come with me, let's go to the garden and I'll show you. So we're here at the garden. Uh, tomato flowers are oriented in nature in a way uh, that helps uh, them self-pollinate. So you don't really have to do anything. Uh, no bees, uh, that's okay. Uh, a gentle breeze can do the trick. But um, you will not have um, much fruit if you leave it all to nature. That's why we are here uh, to hand pollinate and ensure successful fruit sets. Uh, you can see this fruit set right here. I have this uh, tomato already pollinated and coming up. I have this one, there are three of them. So there are two more flowers here. Uh, this one is a little one just coming up. I have two more flowers on this set that needs to come out. There are other methods that you can use to uh, pollinate. For example, if you planted one or two tomato plants, I guess you can pollinate uh, one flower at a time. But if you have uh, multiple tomato plants, uh, then you can imagine how much time it's going to take for you to pollinate all the flowers. In hand pollinating my tomatoes, uh, the um, the method that works for me starts when I stick my tomatoes. I stick in a way that allows me to shake the whole plant without causing damage to the roots, no damage to the stem or branches or the flowers. I simply grab hold of my stick and I shake. So instead of hand pollinating uh, from one flower to another flower, um, that can be very cumbersome. Uh, I mean, do the math. If you have multiple plants uh, with lots of flowers, um, that's going to take a long time. As you can see, the whole plant is shaking, the, all the flowers are shaking, and this vibration is going to be what's going to cause, uh, what's going to help with the fertilization. Uh, this is going to mimic the um, vibration of the wind uh, and you know if the bees land on the flowers they cause some vibrations too. I haven't seen any bees lately uh, in my garden uh, so as you can see I, as you saw before they were on the flowers but uh, they didn't come to the plant so you don't have to wait around uh, for bees you can do it yourself and this way you can vibrate a lot of flowers at one time. You know the flowers are ready to be pollinated uh, when the flowers open up. You can see how they are opened up and they are oriented in a way that the male part is at the top and the female part is at the bottom. So even gently vibrating with your hands like this can also do the trick but you have to go from uh, one flower set to another flower set. So on this uh, tomato plant, there are flowers right here and there are flowers right there. When you use your stick and shake, uh, you can see all the flowers are vibrating uh, wherever they are. So you can see this fruit set is coming up. Uh, the, there's a little tomato here, but I still have this one and I have that one. So I have to repeat this process, you know, come and uh, shake, shake them. 
so that um, to make sure that it gets pollinated. I hope you find this video helpful. Don't wait around uh, for any wind or bee. Uh, go out and help your tomatoes and, and you'll get more tomato fruits per plant. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Until next time, uh, keep planting, keep learning and keep growing and I'll see you.